Hello Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's really nice to have you tune in to the channel, so thank you so much for being here. This is for Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio, or if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this reading can be applicable for you. Um, and this is the current energies where you're at in a love situation right now. So we'll see what the cards can reveal. First and foremost, with the overall energy, Let's have a look and see what's coming up for you. Uh, water signs. Okay, you've got the five of cups. Um, this is something that's that's being lost in a situation. Um, now I get like heartbreak or loss or like dis dysfunction in the connection. And it has you a little bit emotional, okay? In a way, you feel like you've lost something with a person. Now, this could be love, this could be a connection. Maybe you feel like you've lost this person for good. Um, but there's like, you know, feeling, feeling the loss in a very profound way um, is the message that I'm getting. Now, it can involve another water sign uh, another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio as well. So it can be one of these signs also. So what I get is like there's love that's been lost, and you're looking in a you're looking at a situation and you're feeling a little bit disappointed in a person maybe, or disappointed in a connection. Um, but I I, I want to say with the Two of Cups behind you, you're still willing to give this person second chances or you're willing to give a connection a second chance again. So for a lot of you, you're thinking about maybe getting back with an ex, maybe being exclusive again, um, and trying things out. These, these, these two cups could definitely indicate it's a twin flame connection. So if you're wondering why the push uh, and the pull is so strong towards this person, chances are it's because the basis, the foundation of your connection is that two of cups energy. Um, but you're going through some things. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got the Emperor, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Swords. All right, you've been confused or hurt or disappointed in the situation or someone has left you confused or, or disappointed, um, especially even heartbroken. You feel hurt towards a person, I feel, and you're trying to hold your power with the Emperor. Chances are you're, you know, you're saying something to yourself and you're going to stick to your guns in the situation, whether it is you needing to leave them or you're wanting to give yourself space or time. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands is here. So you're gonna you're you're not fearing of taking action to show that this to, to show this person has disappointed you or has hurt you in some way. So yeah, you're not you're not hesitating to take that action actually with the Knight of Wands. You're happy to take the action because that's how you're feeling with that emperor energy. And that three of swords is, is what, what's making me think it's that confusion. It's that confusion or uncertainty. But also I get hurt. Now, water signs, this could be you. You may have hurt someone very deeply. And you've made them worried maybe. But because this reading is focused on you, I get that maybe with the Three of Swords, you're worried about something going on here. You're worried about a certain situation, the way it's playing out, the way things are appearing. You're possibly not afraid about exploring another connection entirely. Um, or it's like, if you've lost a connection or you felt like you've lost someone, you're not afraid to step up, be the emperor, be that knight of wands and take matters into your own hands. Look, that might be the case here, water signs. You need to take matters into your own hands here. This is, this is for you to take action in a situation. Okay, you've got the eight of wands, three of cups. Um, Knight of Cups, okay, someone here just wants to be friends. 
strong Pisces link coming up for some of you. Um, but I get with the Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, friendship. I don't know if some of you need to rebuild a friendship and a connection. Um, you may still want things to be on a romantic level, um, but you're focusing on friendship first, or the message here is to rebuild a friendship and then go from there, then build on top. Um, you know, the Eight of Wands in this deck, it has like the witches on the broomsticks. So this could be a force bigger than you. You know, with witches, we also get like magic, deceit, maybe trickery. So, you know, there might be someone who needs to try to manipulate you a little bit, especially with their words. Um, they may be making out like they're taking action and they're, um, you know, doing some things, but they may not necessarily be doing that. Um, yeah, they may not necessarily be taking the action that they should. But communication's coming in. They might even tell you this. But it looks like there's a storm brewing. And like these dark shadows are here. So I get this is more to do with communication or action. There's sneaky, sneaky behavior going on. This could be you, water signs. This could be someone you're dealing with. But someone's not being entirely honest. Three of Cups can be third party situation. The Three of Cups is spilt here and it has come up in this deck. Um, so I wonder if there's a friend that's coming into the picture. This is maybe not your person. They're a friend and they're coming in and they might be wanting something romantic with you. Um, and that might not sit well with you or your person. Obviously, that's going to create some drama because there is still emotions here. There's, you're still emotionally linked. So obviously, someone's going to get upset or offended or insulted. It's only a matter of time. Um, but I think things are going to be exposed here. Um, so you'll have to have accountability the emperor has accountability in situations. You'll have to have accountability for what's going on. Um, as to why you're feeling this way or why this, this three of cups is coming up, someone has to take accountability for their actions. Um, it's only natural and it's the only way you're going to make things right. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be this depressing situation and you know you don't want to be in this you, you want to work through it you don't want that dark cloud hanging over your situation because you, you know you want to work through this um so the opportunity will come uh, for you to do that but um thank you so much for tuning in by uh, uh, water signs it does mean a lot uh cancer pisces scorpio i hope you have enjoyed this um and I do hope to be in touch again very, very soon. Um, so please look after yourselves and um, we'll be in touch again very soon. So uh, thank you again and bye for now.